Well, welcome to the Hold the Line podcast. Sean Foyt here. I am joined by an incredible man, <laughs> Pastor John Rutke. And uh, I'm really, really, really excited about this. Been looking forward to this interview and this time together. And what a historic time to be alive. Amen, Sean. And we are here in Orange County. And uh, we are, man, I'm just believing that what is shared is, is going to be something that goes forth and encourages everyone out there. So go ahead and share this, post this stream this, eat this, and, uh, and God's going to move. But I want to, I want to get right into it. I, I, uh, a little bit of, um, kind of the introduction to this mm -hmm. connection here. You guys are familiar with the movie, you know, Jesus revolution that just came out, this focus on the Jesus people movement. Of course, um, we highlighted a lot of that in our film, super spreader which shares the journey of let us worship um when we were on the golden gate bridge in 2020 at the height of covid I remember that and uh one of the prayers that we prayed on the bridge that day and it just kind of came up it wasn't like it was like a prophetic prayer mm. uh that that i declared in the midst of the wind was a new jesus people movement is coming mm. to california is coming mm. to america it's mm. going to start here in the most locked down <laughs> controlled <Wow. laughs> communistic state and <laughs> somehow <laughs> god's going to do something mm. that's going to go across america well mm. we saw this move of god happen of course we came down to orange county the next day a thousand people were there we came down to san diego a few days later five thousand people showed wow. up Wow. baptizing people on the Pacific Ocean. Wow. The scenes are going viral across America. Man. And then we we went to 180 cities wow. across America. And that leads up to our Kingdom to the Capital Tour, which starts in a few days where we, we go to every state capital in America. <laughs> now, in that journey, the Lord began to awaken my heart mm. to the Jesus People Movement and what he had done before. Of course, we got these t-shirts. I don't love that. <laughs> this is the actual original design of the t-shirt in the yes. Jesus People Movement. Yeah, totally. Uh, from, the, uh, from the Life Magazine cover. Yeah, my pastor right. sent me that actual Life Magazine from 1973. Wow, wow. He said, there's something in here for you. Yeah. So fast forward, I'm listening to uh, Lonnie Frisbee, who was the, you know, the igniter, the prophetic voice to start this Jesus people movement. And he's talking a lot about you mm. and he's talking about a lot of your guy, a lot of your journeys mm -hmm. and what God had been doing mm -hmm. in his sermons. He references you a lot of times. So I just want to <laughs> maybe give people a five minute, like spiel introduction on sure. Sure. who you are, how this happened. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, you know, I got saved in the mi mi mix probably, you know, probably four years into the Jesus movement. Okay. You know, I was a devout Buddhist and Eastern mysticism. That was a big thing for all of us, yeah. and, you know? And so, but it, it, let me just say that you being at the Golden Gate Bridge doing that thing, the historians say the epicenter of the Jesus movement was in Haight-Ashbury. Yeah. It started out of wow. that. That's where Lonnie really got touched by the Holy right. Spirit. Yeah. Up there. And he hitchhiked down to Costa Mesa right. because he wanted to lead all of his friends to the Lord because he'd led them all into acid trips. So he said, wow, there's no high like the most high now. So he's like, I got to get these guys saved and, you know, moving forward. And so, uh, you know, that's how that whole journey really started wow. with Lonnie. And, uh, you know, the movie, uh, it was actually Chuck's daughter's boyfriend that picked Lonnie up hitchhiking. Okay. And Lonnie looked like John the Baptist and he was, you know, not going anywhere. He was just leading people to Christ. And then they he'd just have them let, let drop them off at the next exit. And so that's how evangelism was happening. He just that's wanted crazy. to lead as many people to Christ as possible. And so the guys listening to Lonnie articulate the gospel so intensely. And so, and he didn't even know hippies could be saved, you know? Right. And so he takes them over to, he says, you got to meet my, my um, girlfriend's dad. He's a pastor. That's how okay. that whole thing Excellent. happened, comes to the door. And, you know, it's so interesting because um, Chuck's youngest son, Jeff, called me or I called him and he said, I was the one that opened the door when Lonnie came. <laughs> so sweet, you know, <laughs> because they were so excited that I did my video and, right. you know, I did a response to Greg's video. Right kind of given some perspective of where Lonnie was at. So, but it was a very fast moving kind of a move of God that right. happened with 
the most unlikely candidates. By the way, you would have been a perfect candidate to be in that time period. <laughs> Sean, you just missed it by 50 years. Yeah, just, exactly. Dang it. I knew I was born uh, yeah, in the wrong you era. Just, <laughs> just missed it, man. But it, it's, um, you know, it's, it, historians, uh, I had actually uh, the president of Biola and Wheaton College come and met, met with me and another uh, friend of ours, uh, Fred Waugh. And they said, you know, we've documented like great awakenings. We believe that Jesus movement needs to be categorized as a great awakening. Yeah. As scholars, we need to, right. we think this needs to be, because it's influenced and impacted everything right. of the church. How we I mean, it. I've heard something like, not to cut you off, but I heard something like 80% of pastors in ministry right now attribute their salvation. Wow. To the yeah. Jesus people. I believe it. Something I, crazy I like it. that. Yeah, I believe it. And, you know, just as the Azusa Street Revival brought a spiritual truth back to the body of Christ, which was the baptism of the Holy Spirit and right. speaking in tongues. Right. Okay, that was that right. was nominal at best. Right. God moved sovereignly by his spirit in a little house on Bonnie Bray Street, blew out the porch, so they had to move it to a barn on Azusa Street. Right. And that's what happened, you know? And out of that exploded Assemblies of God, Foursquare, right. Church of Christ. I mean, movements happen out of these right. things, you know, that are, you can never even imagine that that, that would have the impact that yeah. it would, you know? But whole streams of belief systems and missionaries and and just from that power of the Holy right. Spirit, yeah. from the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So right. I would say that that was one of the major uh I would say major power sources of the Jesus movement, not only for us to come and get born again and get saved, which was a huge deal, obviously, you know, but the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And that, by the way, seemed in the movie specifically was depicted pretty mild compared oh, yeah. to, yeah. compared no, it, to the it was at the I've epicenter heard. of it, to be honest with you, you right. know, people were getting healed from LSD flashbacks, right. words of knowledges were moving, right. uh, people were getting healed, people were getting delivered. Right. I mean, stuff wow. was happening, wow. you know? So, and you've got, you know, I mean, we need to put that in context too. Right. Lonnie's 19 years old. Right. He's pastoring 500 people. Right. I mean, and he's, you know, his brokenness, of what he and the kind of traumas he went through as right. a kid, right. you know, are now being documented and we're right. kind of addressing that. Right. But, you know, like you have to see, man, and then within three years, he's the picture of the Jesus movement, you know, right. on Time Magazine. Right. You know, so right. you've got all of those kinds of things happening and you don't even know it's a, a movement. Right. You don't even know. When I came to Jesus, it was all community. It was right. all like organic like, man, why would you not want to be part of this? You right. know? How right. could I've missed this? You know, right. so it was really powerful. And then, and then, and 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 then you had not only just the, the birth of Calvary Chapel, but then you had the vineyard. Yeah, that so came that, years later, though. And that That's, and that was the same kind of feel. The same. Uh, it was a little bit more sophisticated. You okay. know, it's kind of like how things are right now. Like right. we're in a digital time period. Right, you know, right. we're this thing's going to go out to, I don't know how many thousands of people. But, right. you know, it's like that was, we moved from being hippies to kind of like, you know, how the 80s looked, you know, yeah, yeah, our hairs yeah. changed, our, you know, our clothes changed, the music changed, you know, everything changed. So uh, MTV was birthed in that time period. Right. You know, so it was a whole like progression of things. But... When the Holy Spirit did fall at the Calvary Chapel of Yorba Linda, I literally thought it was the 2.0 version of the Jesus movement. Wow. And the Spirit of God dropped, and I'm just going, oh, buddy. Wow. God is about ready to do something new. That wow. Isaiah 43 things about ready right. to do it, you know? And uh, we started to see the Spirit of God being poured out. Right. But much like at the beginning of the Jesus movement, you know? And like... We didn't have a choice. We got saved. We got baptized in the Holy Spirit. Um, people were getting demons cast out. You know, it was just part of the normal kind right. of uh, the metrics of how we were approaching the kingdom. And and the the time I think is so. I, I want to correlate that that time and what was happening externally, what was happening in the world, the, the mm -hmm. sentiment that was mm -hmm. because it really hit me. I'll, I'll never forget when after we left the golden gate bridge in 2020 and my pastor sent me this original copy of the 1973 mm -hmm. life magazine i remember looking through the pages and 
thinking about how psycho the season was that we're living in, you know, like these lockdowns, like people just complying, the governmental overreach, mm. uh, all, all of this stuff, the political yeah. divisiveness, the polarization. Yes. And I was just looking through this magazine and just, just weeping, man, looking mm. at these pictures mm. of these hippies coming to Jesus at a very dark time mm. in, in American history. And, and it, it just something happened. It's like, I love um, that that verse in, in Revelation. It says, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. And it was just like that testimony yes. of Jesus moving yes. then yes. was like a prophetic arrow oh, to man. my heart. And it's the most unlikely candidates to come to Jesus with right. us, you know, because we were all jacked up. And <laughs> <laughs> we were, you know, it was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. You know what I mean? It right. was that it was the kind of the mantra of that time right. period. And, you know, I mean, look, you have to, you have to also see it as um, sovereign. Right. And we're in another sovereign moment. Yeah. In this time period. Amen. You know, there's something very sovereign about what God's right. ready to do right now. That's so exciting. Do you feel that, and I want to get to that. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that the, the times there's a parallel? There is a very big parallel. You know, I, I shared on another podcast before, but... You know, the, the number one song in 1969 was We're on the Verge of Destruction, or the On the Eve of Destruction by Barry McGuire, who ultimately got saved and became a very powerful voice in the Jesus yeah, movement. Right. You know, with second chapter of Acts and right. all of those kinds of guys. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. I mean, hearing about that, you right. were, yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. you weren't born. Yeah. So, but it was, uh, you know, it was that kind of desperation politically. Right. I mean, right. we were like going crazy. We had race riots, we had right. assassinations, you know, everything right, leading right. up to it. Totally. I mean, you know, we, we were, when I was a kid, we had the Cuban Missile Crisis, you know, <clears throat> where I grew up in Washington, D.C., where they were getting our, us to duck under our desks like that's going to help for an, a nuclear explosion, <laughs> you know. And then the bell would ring, okay, it's recess, everybody out. <laughs> you know, oh what? my gosh. You know, are we gonna die? You know, we're just asking those kinds of questions. So yeah, it was really, uh, you know, very, uh, uh, man, confusing time of, you yeah. know, time. Drugs, oh man, drugs came in. Right. So it wasn't just, and I've also been saying this, we went from Leave It to Beaver to Jimi Hendrix, you know, so right. big transition, big right. drugs. Yeah. And now you've got the music that's coming. You've got all yeah. those kinds of things. It Man, it set the stage for complete chaos and total rebellion. And we were in the middle of it. I remember, because um, at the at the Music Experience Museum in Seattle, they mm -hmm. they, they document the, because I love every movement as a sound, right? Yes, it does. And and um, I've studied that mm -hmm. and how, you mm -hmm. know, the sound in, in, the, in the rebellion, you had Hendrix, you had yes. Janis Joplin, you yes. had all these people. And then the yes. Jesus People movement had a counter sound. Yes. And people have sent me a bunch of, vinyls of that yes, sound and i've listened yes. to them it's amazing yeah, yeah um however i remember reading about this experience that jimi hendrix it was in the middle of this giant festival mm. and it was not long before he died and he stopped mid song mm. i need somebody to fact check me on this too and let me know where exactly this was but i remember he was mid song he stopped and it was you could hear a pin drop and he said out to the crowd he said does anybody here know the truth mm. wow there's thousands of people right in the middle yeah. of the concert stops he asks this question no response wow quiet and then he goes okay wow. never mind then and goes yeah. back into his song wow and in the midst of that season it seemed yeah. like there was this leaning in yes, to like what yes, is yes, truth yes, like what yes. is reality what is you know yeah in the mix there that the god is dead you know f philosophical perspectives were coming forward in our right. thought process you right know? so it's hopelessness despair you know without right. god there's nothing you know and i i think that we were all that's why eastern mysticism you know had a real like uh draw for right. many of us just because we wanted to we wanted truth right i was on a i was into buddhism and Eastern mysticism, searching. all kinds of things. Yeah, just searching. Yeah. I'm just going, there's got to be some reality here, right. you know? Because I didn't see it in the church when I was growing up, you know? Right. And I was just going, God's out there somewhere. I didn't know who God was. I, you right. Know? But, you know, I think that that uh, very parallel to yeah. where we're at now, yeah. Sean. It's really quite interesting to see 
the parallels that I do see. Right. And us old school Jesus movement guys, yeah. you know, like that I hang with. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'm with one of the main leaders that was in Northern California. His name's Sean Junkel. He was what Lonnie was to Southern California. This guy was to Northern California. Wow. He's one of my best friends. Okay. And so uh, we're looking at this and we're seeing the groundswell that's happening. Right. And I'm telling you, it looks so similar. Wow. We're, we're, we're watching the kids. They're just pressed in. Wow. Crying out to God. Wow. Wanting to fast, wanting to Come see on. God. Yeah. And they're all like, you know, 35 and under, you know, right. and they're, I, I got a call from Danny Lehman, who's one of the leaders of uh, YWAM. Yeah. And he said, John, we've got, I don't know how many kids they've got there at that YWAM base in Kona, but he yeah. said, they're pressed in yeah. hours and hours crying out to God, seeking wow. the Lord. I said, I'm seeing the same thing here. Right. Yeah. And all of our kids, they're, right. they're holding meetings all over and they won't get off the floor just yeah. weeping. Yeah. I'm going, man, something is stirring. Yeah. No, I, I, I think we're, we're all experiencing that. I mean, I was telling you before we started this, how I was in the U.S. Capitol just a few days ago mm -hmm. and was gathered with legislators, aides, members of Congress, mm -hmm. Lying prostrate on the yes. Capitol Rotunda. I don't know if this Jesus. has ever happened before. Yeah. And we are worshiping inside of the ceremonial epicenter of wow. democracy. Yes. Like the building that births yeah. freedom around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just amazing. It, yeah. it is an amazing season. I, I want to talk for a minute because I want to get back to this. This yeah. is where I want to land. Mm -hmm. Hope. Okay. Okay. Right? Yeah. Gotcha. But I do want to talk about how. And this is offensive to, to a lot of people, or, or they just try to pretend it doesn't exist, um, that God loves to use imperfect people. He uses yeah. jacked up people. Yeah. He, he, he works in the midst of our failures right. and the gifts of God come without repentance. Yes, yes. yes. And uh, sometimes we have a hard time with that. And I really believe, and this, this may frustrate a lot of people, mm -hmm. there doesn't seem to be a lot of times a correlation between anointing mm -hmm. and character. Yes. Yes. I mean, we like to think that there does, yeah. but it's like God chooses who he chooses. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now with Lonnie's life, we all, you know, as, as we know, he, you know, he died with AIDS. Yeah. Um, he had a, a lot of issues probably that he battled with throughout his life. Yeah. Um, you are one of his best friends. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because, you know, when I first met Lonnie, he, you know, I mean, he wore everything on his sleeve, man. You know right. exactly and right. super honest about everything. Right. You know, it's like, dude, it's kind of like the hippie culture. Kind right. Of, yeah, kind totally. of it's very authentic, you know. Yes. It's like, dude, this is really where I'm at. You right. Know? So, you know, we and we travel all over the world together. So you have a huge amounts of time with the, this guy and you're just talking through. I'm talking through my stuff. He's talking through his stuff, you know, and he's just sharing about all of these kinds of things. And But, you know, one of the things that, Sean, to be honest with you, that pe I don't think people really know about is like molestations, how the impact of that is. And I mean, maybe, you know, whoever's watching this right now, you know, I mean, there's a real painful thing that happens as a result of those right. kinds of things that could impact your sexuality, can right. impact your psychology, right. your, yes. your, your well-being and right. all kinds of things. I, I honestly believe that, and because I've done enough deliverances now to know that I, these are trauma points. Right. Where the devil comes in. Yeah, he's trying Jesus. to pervert the yeah. innocence of- Yeah, and in yeah. Lonnie's book, which I read, I, I don't know if you can put my little deal that I did about Lonnie yeah. uh, on your podcast, but uh, I did a- whole thing that's one of the reasons why i'm here now because it went viral <laughs> what yeah. i had to say and it was in response to what greg did but one of those things was um he got molested as a eight-year-old and he had just given his life to jesus wow. and in his book set free lonnie makes reference to that on eternal perspectives you know yeah and uh one of the chapters and he said that was a dark evangelist he called that guy that molested him an evangelist of darkness wow and then he he begins to expose the whole homosexual community for what it is you know which is really uh they're a community and what the body of christ has needed to be is more of a community right. and less of an organization right 
And so the Lord's calling us back to be an organism, right. not an organization, Amen. so that we can help people from the coming out of their communities because right. they're looking for community. Right. Yeah. They're looking for love. They're looking yeah. for all those kinds of things. Right. You know? But that level of brokenness that comes as a result of that right. is beyond people's imaginations. Right. And so, you know, here you got a kid that is uh been rejected by his dad, been rejected by his stepdad. And then gets molested at as an eight year old goes to his mom. His mom says, I don't want you to ever mention that again. You know, I mean, this is like in the fifties, which so, was common back then. Common. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, don't you ever open your mouth again. And the right. babysitter's still babysitting, you know, while he's molesting Lonnie. Lonnie said, you know, it just, it's like, okay, now there's a bullseye on me from the devil, which I had no idea. Oh and goodness. then we go right into the hippie time period. Where it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Okay, so now you're like in that world. Right. You know, exploring hallucinogenics. Right. And this is, I'm just talking about Lonnie right now. Right. I did my own too, but you know, it's like there's just something, you know, very dramatic about all of those kinds of things. And then out of the midst of Hate Ashbury, like we were talking, boom, comes a movement. Lonnie comes down, gets, he gets powerfully touched in that. Right. And all of a sudden, even up there, the power of God was moving on Lonnie. Right. Lonnie would come into these meetings or into his room because it was a house gathering and the spirit of God would just fall on people. You know, they called him Pentecostal Frisbee, you know, and Lonnie hitchhikes down <clears throat> looking like John the Baptist down to Southern California. And the rest is history. That's all <clears throat> this thing gets launched, but he's young. He's a young leader. He's struggling in his marriage with his wife, Connie, who's, you know, uh, I've talked to her recently and, you know, she's like, um, so they're having a struggle. And so you're in this move of God, which you didn't even know was a move of God. And all of a sudden it goes from, you know, 500 people to 2,500 people. Right. And Chuck's kind of in charge of this. And Chuck's probably 45, you know? And so parallel times, parallel things, but people are, didn't know how to deal with issues that people were right. dealing with at yeah. that time. Alani being one of the chief people. So, yeah, you know. I mean, and you feel, and so that that trauma that he experienced, it just was never dealt with. Oh, it was never. never. Did he talk yeah. about it much? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he talked to me about that quite a bit. And, you know, just uh, the trauma of that. One of the things he says, I, was, I said, I felt like I had a bullseye on me, you know, yeah. from the devil. And he was coming after me. And I, there were some things I caved into and you know i'm i'm looking for the lord in everything and he would go to some of the leaders right. and say hey guys i'm dealing with this but again you know that's a generation of men that just didn't know right. want to hear about it right. or and didn't want to deal with it right and it just seemed like every place that lonnie went a viral move of god happened right you know it was there right. and then of course bob mumford and those guys were recruiting lonnie to help you know with him and the shepherding movement, which was in between the Jesus movement and the vineyard movement, right. had tremendous anointed leaders. I mean, wow, these guys were good. They just went into a little bit of error. You know, once they repented of the error, you know, God started to really use them again. I mean, I listened to Derek uh, Prince last night. It was so powerful. Right. You yeah. Know? You know, very, very powerful leaders. And, and once they repented of that, they, their, their ministries, it seemed uh, exploded. Right. But, um, you know, so all of these things are happening. None of those guys wanted to deal with it. And then we find ourselves, I'm Lonnie's roommate, and we're circling a Calvary Chapel because that was the biggest show in town. We wanted to see the Lord begin to move. You know, we're always looking for anything that had any movement. To right. It. Yeah. Calvary Chapel, your Belinda was happening, you know, because of John Wimber and his, again, worship music. You right. Know? Yeah. The worship was drawing us. Right. In. Yeah. You know, one, one thought that I'd like to go back to the Jesus movement, it was the music that really captured us wow. in that time period. And it was uh, Maranatha music. Yeah. You yeah, know, that, that's I think what you're referring to. Yeah, right? yeah. Of but most of those guys, Lonnie led to the Lord. Right. Wow. All the and Lonnie would use love song as his point of reference when he would go do like preach at schools, preach in yeah. auditoriums. He'd take those guys with him. Wow. And all of those guys, just the music. Right. Would, would it's like having right like a you know 355 pound pulling guard that can run a 4440. You know. Yeah. 
like boom, man, yeah, it breaks totally. you through. So, so it brought more. And as musicians were coming, they were starting to get inspired to write music, and that, that's right. where Maranatha music happened. Right. Yeah. You know? And so, what 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 I would like to say about that is this: once you start making it a business, right? Again, right. Oil stops. Wow, man! I'm telling you, I saw it. I'm just going, wow, man, that was. Like it doesn't have the inspiration anymore. Right. Yeah. And I saw the same thing at the vineyard. You know, yeah. Music was put you on your face weeping. Yeah. And then once, once I once it became a business in an industry, burp, burp, it just stopped. Burp, it stopped completely. Wow. Man, it was like wow. Jesus help this us. This is yo, oh dear God, please, wow. please, Sean, don't I, make I, it a business, I, I brother. Know. Please, man. I've had <laughs> I've had that same experience. I I can't name. Yeah. Names or, or yeah. whatever, but I, I've seen that same thing. Yeah. I've I've seen it, I've yeah. experienced it, and it's grieved me. Oh. And um but I wanna I, I yeah, I, I wanna sorry, go back. No, 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 no. I, I wanna I'll go, go back go to on. this is I, I you can't get over the fact that it appears mm -hmm. that, you know, here's this messed up broken guy and people yeah. are He's a firecracker. He's a catalyst. He's 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 carries synergy. He's he's yeah. and a prophetic voice. Prophetic voice. Yeah. Starting movements, right? Yeah. And you can't get over the fact that it appears that these guys are like utilizing the gifting, but not willing to get in the in the mess with the man. Yeah. Right. 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 And and I don't. It's not like I'm trying to blame all those guys because no. I don't even think they knew what to do. They didn't. But. But speak to that a little bit. Well, like, you, 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 thank you for allowing. These are softball right, right. <laughs> right out of the park here. But, you know, I appreciate you even saying that because these are good men. Right. You know, I mean, think about it. You know, they're, they're you know, like World War II guys. Right. You know, like they're right. coming from that era. Totally. And they're doing the best with what they've got. Right. And they've got movements on their hands. Right. I mean... You know, now, you know, Chuck went from, you know, Lonnie kind of leading the charge. Right. To now there's 10,000 people going to his church. Now what do you do? You know, right. and you're trying to get the other leaders up and Lonnie's coming to you and saying, hey, I've got a problem and there's some issues. Lonnie, Lonnie, come on. You know, and <laughs> it's so it's very difficult to deal with something like that. Right. You don't have the time right. or the bandwidth or even the know-how right. to even address this. Right. To, because you're so, you know, you're you're being expended right. to all of the right. needs that are there. Right. I totally can unsee that, yeah. how that could happen. It was the same with Bob Mufford because these are called movements for a reason, you know. Right. And the shepherding movement was happening. Lonnie's coming to them and sharing some of his things that he's dealing with. He's trying to work out his marriage and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I mean, like all of a sudden it's a national movement. Right. With hundreds of thousands of people involved. And there's all kinds of issues that are going along with that. And he's, hey, I've got an issue. Lonnie, we don't have time, you know. There, you need to come under discipline, you know. It's like, well... You know, maybe, but it also needs to be healed. Right. It needs to be walked through this. Right. No time. Guys right. didn't know how to deal with it. Right. Well, then we, here we crest the hill in 1980 with Wimber, with uh, the Vineyard Movement. And John was far more, I would say, like had more capacity and sensitivity. Right. And right. He was a musician. Right. You know, he was super yeah. cool. You know, yeah. John was like just a good brother, you know, real relational, you know. And he, he was excited that Lonnie was circling the camp. And then he invited right. Lonnie to preach at a Mother's Day uh, church service. And that was the end of his church, as he knew it. <laughs> That's the sermon that I listened to where he was referencing you. Yeah. Well, you know, he's he's just, uh, you know, Lonnie's, I, when they asked Lonnie to speak, I'm just going, this brother has no idea what's about <laughs> ready to happen. It's, it's crazy, you know. It really was. It yeah. was like, wow, this is about ready to go full blown Richter. Right. And they don't right. know it. Right. Right. They're all happy, you know. Right. Right. Just right. over there right. in the corner, you know. <laughs> so we're we're you know so we're well past the, the hippie time period. Now right. we're into the more sophisticated. Right. Right. MTV. Right. You know the kind of look there, but you know, um, and then you know the spirit of God fell and. 
boom, it's just like an explosion happened. And right. but they did not know what to do with that. Right. You know, it was really because it's Calvary Chapel. Right. Calvary Chapel is on lockdown in many places. I right. mean, listen, they do a great job with the scriptures and, you know, so I don't mean to be so, uh, you know, um, derogatory towards them at all because they've done a great job and there's right. so many of them and yeah. God's doing it. But listen, we are going to have to see the, the spirit of God begin to move with Come great on. power and Come dynamic on. right yeah. now. Like we've never seen yeah. before. The kingdom we, of God is not a matter of talk, it, 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 but power. Yeah. There it is, you know, yeah. and, uh, we are sending out missionaries and people like that, that don't move in power right. and they're, you know, Mormons with good doctrine. Right. Okay. Totally. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. You go to a third world country, brother, you better be bringing yeah, it. Yeah, seriously. Because you're coming up against <laughs> yeah. the powers of darkness and you better be yeah. able to match that. Yeah. Because that's the reality of yeah, it. Yeah, true. And, but we're now seeing like explosions of, I mean, right. movies coming out today uh, come out in Jesus' name. Right, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a deliverance know. movie. I know. It's already gone to 2,000 theaters. Crazy. I, I just got off the phone with one of the uh, guys who was part of that. Uh, Isaiah Sal Salvador and you know these guys are they're they're young guys like you yeah yeah and they're pumped and they're just going right. what about deliverance John right. I said dude we've been doing it for years yeah except it's just been a few of us right. you know now they're raising up a standing army yeah to come into these to this right. level a third of Jesus's ministry was about deliverance yeah you know, we're, th this should be not something that should be a novice deal. Right, right. This is God is wanting to bear his uh, arm. And, and we need a whole generation that's, uh, yeah, that's so that's activated in, in this. Yes. That's so in bondage. I mean, that's they, so they, in bondage. That's know. right. So, and getting they, back to that thing of even that issue with right. uh, victimization. Can you imagine how yeah. many people have had molestations? In their oh, lives? I mean, I, I want to talk about that because I think, you know, Lonnie... Um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's mind boggling, right? That he can be in such bondage and yet bring such freedom and deliverance to yes. so many. It's the right? enigma. It's an enigma. Yeah, for sure. You know, that, that, yeah. that, that happens. But I see this in this generation. Like mm -hmm. it, 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 I really believe this is the mode. So I'm speaking of Gen Z and, and, you know, which I have a daughter in Gen mm -hmm. Z and then Gen Alpha, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. other kids are probably one of the most anointed generations I've ever heard or mm -hmm. read or seen, right? Mm -hmm. Like they, they are, they are, a lot of them are being baptized into this life mm -hmm. of just, they're seeing God move. They're seeing yes. signs and wonders. They're, yes. they're seeing breakthrough right yeah. over people, but they're in themselves are so messed up. They're addicted yes. to porn. Yes. They're, they're, they they have same sex attraction. They're confused about their sexuality. 25% mm -hmm. of Gen Z is confused about their sexuality wow. or identifies as LGBTQ. Wow. 25%. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, you're not just, here's the thing. You're not just talking about a, 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 a bondage or a darkness. You're talking about a crisis mm. of continuing to procreate humanity, mm. yes, yeah. which is what Elon Musk has been talking right, about. Listen, right. we don't have a problem with overpopulation. Yes. We have a problem with yeah. continuing to exist. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and, and it's, it's mind boggling mm -hmm. because again, about Lonnie, and this is where I want to connect. They're so gifted. They're so anointed. How, how do we not repeat the mm -hmm. same mistakes of what happened in the Jesus mm -hmm. people movement. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm much more interested in looking forward to what God's doing than yes. looking back. However, yeah. there's so many lessons yes. that we can learn from the past. Yeah. What, what would, yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I think that that's a loaded question right there, man. So I, I think that one of the things that we have to take a look at is that God has got a plan for these people, right. you know? I can say with Lonnie, the anointing broke the yoke. Right. When the anointing of God was on Lonnie, it was intense. Right. You know? And so he loved the anointing. But what we need to do is we need to love the Lord of the ministry more than the, the ministry of the Lord. Right. And we need to come back the to face that more than the hands. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We need to come back to that. And I was think there like an addiction to the anointing or the energy or the, or the, yeah, at, I, like what? What I, was I, it in I, him? Where was the well, disconnect? I think honestly that um, you know, when once you've come into one of those uh, situations of like molestation, and there's an unclean spirit, and, and that just kind of 
hovers around you if you have not right. been delivered from it. Right. And then you start going with layers of unforgiveness and right. rejection, rejection, right. rejection, right. you know, right. all those kinds of things. Yes. Now, now there's a stronghold. And, you know, like who can get to that place when the guy's wow. just raw right. nerve and is seeing God's power and glory and manifestation of his presence like like not many people like i've been with a lot of different ministries and ministers and hardly anybody i've known that moved like lonnie did wow you know it was very he's a catalyst for two movements right you know yeah and so you know i mean there's something to be and said what about was that. there was that i mean it to best that you can describe what in in this in the period of that ministry and those movements was it an ongoing battle and temptation or were there seasons of victory and then seasons? No, of I, I back, never even saw any of it, to be honest with you. You know, wow. I mean, I was like, you know, because he knew how I am, you know, I'm focused, right. loving Jesus, don't want to, I'm fighting, sit, yeah, opposite set attraction, you know, not right. anything, trying to just keep my heart right before right. the Lord, you know, I mean, yeah. and all those things. But uh, so, no, I didn't see any of that kind of things happening, but I just knew that he was struggling with yeah. these things. I could feel the the pressure. And then I saw the root of bitterness come upon him and those kinds right. of things. But I think with what we're seeing now with these kids that are here now, listen, our parents, my, my parents, Lonnie's parents, you know, we were way far away from us. Yeah. We're, I'm not far away at all from you or from the, that generation right for the z's the millennials right i'm not i'm not far away from you i yeah. can touch you i understand your music understand your culture right understand what you've been through yeah i can easily speak to that now. wow our parents couldn't wow they're so far removed from that wow so that's a big yeah. drop off zone so now and even in the jesus movement there's a hundred of us to one old person or one old person i'd say you know our motto was don't trust anybody over 30. so you know if you were 40 dude did you actually read the bible you know like <laughs> old testament and new testament okay we would listen to you you'd have a hundred people wow. right there listening to you if you could actually explain that to us wow but that's how it was well now there's lots of us right there's lots and lots right. and lots of us that are, and I would say to those who are, you know, the 60 and over crowd that might be watching this, you know, podcast right now, man, get engaged. Yeah. Man, there's get a second the wind coming. Yeah, get, get in, in the, the game. game right now. Yeah. Don't need to look from the 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 uh, bleachers, man. Get in the game. There I, is a there is a a massive need for fathers. Oh my goodness! I, I mean, but, right now it's a fatherless generation, yeah, and, big and time. the enemy preys on that with oh, those yeah. issues oh, and yeah. that trauma. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, and you're right. I mean, it's 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 literally. And I love that verse in Malachi. It's one of the ones we 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 speak a lot. In the last verse of the Old Testament. You know mm -hmm. that I'll turn the hearts of the children to the fathers, and the hearts of the fathers to the, fathers. Fathers to the yeah. children. Yeah. And I think we're in a season right now where Definitely. God's doing that definitely um, I, i'm feeling it big time you know i i just i think it's it's also mind-boggling that we're in a season of such it, ex, there's there's such an exposing going on i mean mm -hmm. every single day i hear about yeah. a worship leader or a pastor yes, that's yes. in an affair that's yeah. embezzling money that's yes. in a yeah. you know homosexual yeah. relationship that's yeah. in, i mean i remember i was in college when the whole thing broke with ted haggard mm. his kids were going to college there wow they were totally unaware oh my goodness wow. that for years this yeah. thing had been going on i mean i could go on and on down yes. the list right yeah. yeah i mean this is like yeah I mean, we are in a season where that stuff is being exposed yeah, at a too. rampant level. Yes, it is. And I just feel like people don't want to talk about it. Like they right. don't want to, okay, how do we get to the root with Lonnie? Like, how do we, we love the revivals. We love the moves of God. And, you know, maybe it wasn't the role of the film to go into this, mm -hmm. but what, as we, as the next generation, how can we, I feel like this, the sexual attack of the enemy mm -hmm. has been far worse. Oh yeah, by far. On this next oh, generation. Oh, definitely, because I mean, Molech is rising, you know? Yeah, and, and, we, and I know this because when we do a lettuce worship and we travel city to city to city, mm -hmm. when we do an altar call or we do who, who needs to be, get hit of sexual trauma mm -hmm. or confusion or whatever, mm -hmm hundreds of people wow. will run to the altar. Wow. Like they're not even embarrassed anymore. Yeah. They're yeah. just like waiting for yeah. somebody to yeah. talk about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I, I uh, 
I kind of experimented with our Tuesday night group, which is a house church that's on fire. You know, Mm -hmm. it's like there are about 60 of us in this one house. And I thought, I'm going to read the chapter that I read uh, when I was doing my podcast. And and, uh, it's eternal perspectives. And so I thought, I'm going to experiment on this group with Mm -hmm. this. And I just read Lonnie's story of his molestation, of all of his things, what he thought about it, how he perceived the homosexual community, how the pedophiles and the script writers in Hollywood have become dark evangelists. Right. Recruiting oh my our gosh. kids. So much in recruiting there. Recruiting our kids. Yes. And as I'm as I had this read by somebody, <clears throat> I wanted to see what was going to be the reaction of our group. Everybody on their face, weeping, wow. confessing. Wow. I mean confessing wow. every dark thing of their lives. I honestly Sean, I was like, powerful. I was just sitting back watching my jaw dropped, my jaw dropped. And because I was trying to explain to the kids, kids, look, listen, this is when I say kids, they're like 50 and under. (laughs) Uh, I said, this is what's going to happen. This movie's going to come out. You know, this is like months before this was going to happen. My name's going to be in the mix there. So I wanted you to hear this clearly, what the Lord's doing and how it's going. And I saw just repentance come. Wow. And so I think that this move of God is going to be a repentance move. Yeah. And the back of the demonic is going to get broken. Right. Hard. Come on. Because the spirit of God is going come to on. fall like we've yeah. never seen before. Wow. And I think that this whole thing of the molestation of the kids, you know, because it's just the that spirit of Moloch and Jezebel that's coming after these kids. We are going to see the Spirit of God come with such power wow. and such anointing. Come on. It'll be fearless. Yeah. God's raising up fearless people. I see yes. your generation, the guys below you, these kids, I'm, I, you know, they're, I, what do they call influencers on YouTube? Yeah. These guys are fearless. Yeah. I'm like going, come on, totally. boy. Totally. You get, get in that game and get totally. going, you know? Yeah. So exciting for me to watch. Well, I, 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 and I feel like, you know, obviously, these conservative pundits and people that are exposing drag queen story hour yes, and all this stuff yes, and they yes. just get they just get angry and rage and yeah. they go on twitter and they yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah 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 but but what's the root of it yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. like that like what we're talking about is anybody can get on there and say yeah that's bad well we know it's bad yeah, right? right and You're it's pervasive in society yes, yes, and yes, pedophilia is yes. being masked yes, over yes, and i mean yes, it's like yes. it's just the slippery slope mm-hmm. you know we were told mm-hmm. like with the marriage equality act or whatever oh just let us do what we want in our bedroom well yeah. no now we want to teach your kids now yes. we want to indoctrinate yes, now exactly. we want to yeah. now we want to encourage them now yeah. we want to cut off their breasts now yes. we want to you know Disgusting. i mean it's <laughs> unbelievable yeah. and it's it's hard to be honest with mm-hmm. you not to get really angry and yeah. be like ah yeah. but it's not by might it's not by power but there by the is. spirit amen and there's something like what you're saying. The answer is a repentance movement. Yes, I believe yes, that wholeheartedly. Yes, yes, yes. We were the last group of people you would ever consider getting saved. And we got saved with a gill nut coming straight through the whole state of California first. Yeah. And then it made its way across the nation with tens of thousands getting saved. Boom. One shot deal. Wow. I mean, there was more of us than there was leaders. Yeah. And so we're going to see, but now we've got good leaders, you know, right. lots of leaders, lots of leaders in the infrastructure. And we've got this thing called the internet <laughs> that these YouTube kids are like tearing it up, you know, yeah. where they've got 650,000 followers. Right. I mean, is that crazy? Yeah. I mean, I did my little deal. I, and I thought, oh, a thousand people. I w- went to bed that night. Oh, wow, that's, wow, a thousand people are watching this. Woke up the next day, 25,000 people are watching my YouTube. <laughs> going 25,000, next day, yeah. 50,000. I'm yeah. going, what is going on here? Yeah. So you have now a voice yeah. out to yeah. all over the world. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was actually laughing because on the way here, uh, I, I released this little album um, live in Iraq, actually. I just captured this sound uh mm-hmm. of worship and it's just acoustic uh on my guitar and yeah. vocal right yeah. just just released it out it's raw worship mm-hmm. it's not it's no overdubs no mm-hmm. polishing no anything it's number one on christian itunes but it's number six on all albums in the world today what number six wow on every album in the world wow i mean it's over 
all of the biggest albums, Top Gun, Maverick, the soundtrack, it's over that, which was just wow. released, yeah. Snoop Dogg, everything. So there wow. is this, I share that because yeah, there's no, an ability yeah. for this viral it's sound. It's viral, man. It's which viral. is hilarious because yeah. this is a project that, I mean, it's not even, it's like the rawest thing I've ever done. Yeah. And it's yeah. like God's breathing on it. So we do have this exponential ability yes. to reach yeah. millions. Yeah. Um, where do you see jumping from the past to the future? Because as we talked about earlier, a lot oftentimes the biggest enemies of the new move of God are those that were in the last. Right. I've experienced a little bit of that. Yeah. However, I do experience so many fathers like you, hmm. right? Saying like, listen, what we've seen is nothing. What's yeah. coming? The latter's greater yeah. than the former. Let's totally. let's I want to end with that. I want you to just what do you see? <clears throat> Look, you're a surfer, right? Yeah. Okay. There's kind of ma- <laughs> yeah me i'm i you know i paddleboard <laughs> but all my kids are surfers yeah so, you know uh one of the keys to getting this massive wave it's coming right been seeing it for a while right you have to go up over the water get over through the right. waves it's 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 not as easy as people think right you have to get all the way out there, get right. your little wetsuit on, make right. sure it's un- inconvenient, yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah. You have to turn around right. and then you have to wait. But when you see that wave coming, there's a timing that you must lend yourself to. Right. So you actually have to engage that right. wave. Come on. By using your own strength yeah. to paddle in order to do that and as it's getting closer you're finding yourself paddling more and more and more and then boom that wave hits yeah when that wave hits i call it the big mo it's momentum (laughs) that momentum now carries you wow and so we are at a stage right now where we're going and i've shared this with a young young man that i'm now going to father him too he's uh I said, you're at the last click of the roller coaster. Right. <laughs> as you are just about ready I to crest. That. Yeah. And you're on the front seat. So make sure your seatbelt's snapped. Because when that thing crests, it's over. Yeah. Everything changes from here on out. And so we're right on that crest of that move, of that big wave and of that roller coaster. And we've got maybe one or two clicks left before yeah. it crests. Wow. So you have to prepare yourself. You have to make sure your heart's right. You have to get cleared of all the sin, all of the things that have, the sin that so has Mm -hmm. easily beset you. Right. You just need to just simply let go. Right. And allow God to just restore you back. But I do believe, I do believe we're on the cusp of a great economic crash. I think that the crash, I looked, I've researched all the, the moves of God, you know, great awakenings. The third great awakening was in New York City, 1857, right before the, the civil war and they were having a hard time filling their church. And so this one guy goes out and ends up putting a sign out prayer meeting at noon. Six people showed up the first week that next week. Yeah. The layman's prayer meeting. Yeah. 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 20, I love that. 20 I love people. that. Yeah. Next week, 40 Come people on. next week, 10,000 wow. people because wall street collapsed. Right. Okay. Maybe the next demon to go down will be the God of Mammon. Right. So what? Yeah. What do we got to lose? Right. Let's not get in fear. Let's yeah. trust God. I love that. Let's just begin to yeah. move. Yeah. That that will send every money changing table kicked over in every right. church system. Right. Because either you get with it because n- there's nobody there to pay for your air conditioning or right. your heater. Okay. Yeah. Like it's over. Yeah. So it brings us all down to a very basic level. Right, right, right. Just how it is, you know? And it'll get us all back engaged yeah. in the game. So that's what's coming. Right. So exciting. Right. This is the best time to be alive, Sean. Come on. I wouldn't trade this for a Jesus movement, the vineyard movement, any of this stuff. No, this is it, Come man. On. This is the mother load coming. Yeah. That's what I, I feel like I I I I feel this um this sense of, of boldness um, to, to pray those prayers and, and those statements that Peter made. You know, Peter in Acts chapter two, 
the, the you know the power of the holy spirit falls people don't know what's happening they yeah. don't know what it is they're looking for definition and yeah. i love when peter says this is that yes that's right this is that thing we've been waiting for yeah. this is that thing that's been promised this Amen. is that thing that's been prophesied that's this right. is joel chapter two yep. this is the outpouring of the spirit and i i do believe you know and it's it's such an honor to to have you here and somebody that's been through moves of god I do believe, what if we start saying this is that thing? Yes, amen. You know? We should. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it may seem crazy, and it yeah. may seem, you know, and, and you know, this generation's so jacked up, and they're mm -hmm. so dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. Look at the way that they're voting. Look what yes. they're standing for. Yeah. And look at, yeah. you know, but what if in the face of that, and I think mm -hmm. back to us on the bridge in 2020, yep. in the face of that, the lockdowns, the fear, mm. the, the 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 inability for people to rise up, the mm. you know the 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 crazy government mm. overreach, all that stuff. Mm. In the midst of that, saying a new Jesus people movement is coming, a, a new awakening is coming, and mm. I I believe that if we just start declaring that, singing Amen. that, Amen. speaking hey, yeah. that, sing it, Sean, you know? <laughs> sing it. That's what you need to sing. Come on, because brother, it's here. Come it's on. already yeah. the ground swells here. All of yeah. us old school guys are just going, whoa, we got to get ready. <laughs> you know, we got to get engaged. Got to get our wetsuits on. Dude, we, we're, 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 we're locked and loaded. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're not like, uh, you know, bystanders on this. Yeah, one. come we're, on. We're stepping well, fully in. We need in. you. We need you. I, I want maybe the last thing we could do, I, I think it'd be really powerful if you would pray one for this hope of a, of a new Jesus people movement, but also for those that have been molested mm. and been abused mm. and experienced what Lonnie dealt yeah. with. I yeah. believe even right now on this podcast, people yeah. can be delivered. Oh, totally. You know, like, like people that yes. have have had those horrible yeah. things done to them. Yes, amen. You know, and amen. they've carried this pain mm. and it's turned into resentment and bitterness mm. and like, what if this is their moment getting free? Oh man, wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. Can, can I do it? Yes, please. <laughs> awesome. Please. Okay. Father, we just thank you that you're here in our midst. Lord, whoever it is that's watching this right now that is dealing with this very issue, I just speak to that spirit right now in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. I command you to loose, be loosed from that person right now. In Jesus' name, every unclean spirit yes. that has made its way Come inside on. of that person, yeah. I command you in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm just telling you, get into agreement with me right now. This is something that's plagued your life for most of your life. You come into agreement yeah. with my prayer and let the Lord begin to break this yoke right yeah. off of your neck right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every voice that's attached to you, I command you in the name of Jesus, you let that person go now in Jesus' name. No more. No more. In Jesus' name, we command you to be loosed. Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit just come now. Yeah. Come, fill them. Be filled with the Holy Spirit right now. Yes, Let Jesus. the Spirit of God yes, just come Jesus. and baptize you in the Holy Spirit, the same power that raised Jesus out of the grave. Let that power come, come over you right now, over, overshadow you come on. with His power, His presence yes, right now. Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, let the power of the Holy Spirit just come now. Heal. We just speak healing of your heart, healing of your mind. Restoration over you right now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, every spirit of confusion that's come over your identity, every spirit of confusion that has come as a result of this, we call it null and void now yes. in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Cease and desist now in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for it, Lord. Father, we just pray now as this wave is about ready to come upon us. Come on. God, I ask that the infrastructure of many organic communities now just yeah. be released Come on. over the land right now. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. Get the 60 and over crowd off the bench into the game <laughs> now, God. Waken your people. Yeah. Open up your living rooms. Begin to uh, invite people over. Mm. Begin to let that gift of hospitality come back in. Oil yeah. will come over your house as a result of this. Let me tell you, God's oil will begin to pour forth. Now, be the wise virgins. Let that oil begin to move into yeah. your lamp. Just begin to call upon the name of the Lord again, like you've never done before. Yes, Get into the, between the porch and the altar now. Get back into that intercessory place that you've known in times past, but the Lord's saying, blow the dust off of that. Come on. It's time for you to get Come back on. to work. Yes. Time for you to get between that porch and yes, altar. Jesus. Begin to cry out to him like never before. Cry out for this generation that's coming. In Jesus' name.
Thank you for it mm. now, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to just, I feel like this specific podcast, I, I feel like there's a commissioning on it. Yes. It's not, we're not just sitting around dissecting mm -mm. prior moves of God mm -mm. going, well, this is wrong and this is right. Yeah. No, no, no. We, we're taking the impartation of yes. what God did. Yeah. And we're saying, Lord, you did it before, come yeah. and do it again. Amen. You know, what can we learn? How That's can right. we, how can we grow? And so just want to encourage you, like share this, but, but, but listen to these stories and let it provoke your heart. Yeah. That's what it does for me. You yeah. know, like I, 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 I look at it and, and I, I, I get so encouraged with what's happening with Asbury. What's what's happening. You know, you're t yeah. we were talking about this Texas A&M and college yeah. station, what's mm -hmm. happening across the world with let us worship. I mean, this worship gathering we had in the side the capitol building yeah, like crazy anything is possible yeah, and so that's right just be encouraged be blessed know that these are phenomenal times Amen. no matter Amen. how crazy things get that's god right. has a counter movement that's it. that that's he's birthing in jesus name god bless you guys thanks so much for being on